Hello everybody, this is Voodoo G and today we are back with making Hardstyle on a budget. Today I'll be explaining the spooky intro to the Hardstyle song Souls of Shame. Yes, that's the name I'm picking for this song. I'm also going to be talking about the changes I've been making to the existing elements because I've been tweaking a lot. And before you're asking why I didn't just record the process of tweaking these sounds, well I'd say it would be pretty boring to watch me move a fader for 30 minutes until it sounds good. As before, everything here has been made using free software, so everyone should be able to follow along at home. But before we continue, let's hear what the song sounds like so far. Alright, the intro consists of three instruments and a bit of white noise. We've got a bell pad, a bell melody and a synthetic choir pad in the background. There is very little going on in the low frequencies of this part as to make the sub bass in the pre-chorus and chorus hit even harder. It's an old rule, if you deprive people of something they like, they will enjoy it even more once you give it back to them. So deprive your children of food. So let's talk about the choir pad first. The pad has been made using the free synthesizer Odin 2, for which I completely forgot to include a sound sample in my review. I hope this makes up for it, sorry. This instance of Odin 2 uses three wavetable oscillators, each one with a different voice wavetable. All three oscillators are slightly detuned and the wavetable position is at a different spot for each one. I've also enabled the unison and set it to six voices. All of the oscillators are going into a low pass 24, of which the frequency is being modulated by an envelope inside of waveform. In case you're wondering, that's the blue line right here and it's causing this fade-in effect. In Odin 2's effect section we've got a delay and a chorus activated. The chorus is actually placed behind the delay as to create more movement during the echo. As for effects on the channel, we've got a Valhalla Supermassive and an Ozone Imager. It is quite poetic, right? We're using Odin and sending it through Valhalla in order to create a heavenly choir. By the way, Valhalla Supermassive is probably the best sounding delay and reverb plugin you can currently get for free. I recommend everyone to download this plugin if you don't have it already. Like even if you've got a paid door with premium plugins, this is not something you should miss out on. Alright, so now let us talk about the bell pads. These were made in Vemba Audio Search, by far the most powerful free synthesizer you can currently get. The sound consists of two oscillators, both using the sine octaves wavetable, going through a filter and into some effects. The morphing parameter of the wavetable on oscillator 1 is being modulated by an envelope. This same envelope also modulates the cutoff frequency of filter 1. That filter is by the way just a standard low pass filter. The oscillators have also got unison enabled, 4 voices for oscillator 1 and 6 voices for oscillator 2. As for the effects inside of Surge itself, we've got a reverb and a delay, both of which are send effects. By the way, both the high bells and low bells have no further effects added to them on the channel and they are almost identical. The only main difference there is is that the high bells are quieter than the low bells. Alright, let's move on to the pre-chorus and the changes I've made to the lead synth. First up, the lead synth now also has an instance of Valhalla Supermassive on it as to drown it even more in reverb. As well as that, I've added a third oscillator to the sound, because when I played the sound outside of the chorus, it sounded a little bit thin and especially weak in the lower end. So I added a third oscillator that is an octave lower and uses a sine octaves wavetable, which is distorted a little bit. The last change has been made to the melody, which has been simplified a lot. The old melody still exists, but only in the second part of the chorus. I made this change because I felt like the melody was too bouncy and not epic enough for the intro. After all, this is a part that's supposed to invert gravity for your hands and raise them towards the sky. And that pretty much concludes all the changes and new additions to this track so far. So, I hope you liked this video and found the information useful. Leave a comment if you have any questions regarding anything inside this video. Subscribe to follow my channel and hit the bell to keep up to date with all my latest videos. Until then, have an awesome day!